Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, February 21st, 2020. This week, how to extend brush lines in Photoshop and Elements. This week, we're back with a brand new series on how to customize brushes and stamps like Katie Pertit's beautiful ledger journalers. When I browse the creatively crafted layouts in the Designer Digital's gallery, I'm reminded of how versatile digital brushes and stamps really are. By manipulating the pixels, you can customize the brushes and achieve an enormous number of different effects. If a brush doesn't exactly meet your design needs, you can often change it to make it a perfect fit. For example, there are times when you'd like the lines of the ledger journalers to extend out farther, making journalers wider or longer to accommodate a larger photo or to stretch all the way across a page. The Love This Look layout by Shanna Mae Sharon is a great example. Making this happen is super easy, but it's not very intuitive. Here's the easy way to extend the lines of the grid. The brushes at Designer Digitals are delivered as both PNG images and ABR brush files for loading into Photoshop or Elements. To follow along with this tip, open a PNG image from a ledger journal or set. And then open a new document or the digital project that you're working on. Using the Move tool, which is the first tool, drag the journaler onto your new document. Now you've got to drag from an opaque, not a transparent part. And I find it easier to drag just from the Layers panel over onto my new document. Make sure that the journaler layer is selected in the layers panel and then get the rectangular marquee tool. It's the second tool down. Drag out a rectangle on the right side of the journaler, making sure that you encompass the ends of each of those lines. Then switch back to the move tool and click and drag out to the right using this handle that's in the middle of our box to extend the lines. Now because I'm working in Photoshop CC and in these later versions of Photoshop you need to hold the shift key as you drag to keep the software from resizing the lines. In older versions you're good to just go ahead and drag out to the right. Stop dragging when the lines are the length you need and then tick the check mark to confirm the change. Deselect the lines by pressing Ctrl D on a Mac system that's Command D on your keyboard. This removes the marching ants and it allows you to continue working on your page. This technique allows you to resize the journaler in a way that makes it look authentic to the design. Thanks so much for watching this week's video and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digitals tip.